Imagine a bone so fragile that simply jumping into a pool can break an arm. That's the reality for thousands of kids with bone cysts. In today's Health Watch, Local 3's Connie Fellman shows us a new treatment that's helping kids build strong bones. Bones so weak that the slightest tumble or fall can break them. That's the reality for thousands of children who live with unicameral bone cysts. Now, a new technique is helping to make these brittle bones stronger and let kids be kids. Life is pretty sweet for 12-year-old Brooklyn Tajir, but it hasn't always been this way. I was skipping on my kitchen floor in socks and I fell. That was the first time Brooklyn broke her arm. In all, her fragile bone snapped five times. She actually just stepped off a low diving board in our local pool, and when she pushed herself up, her arm broke. Brooklyn had a unicameral bone cyst. It's a fluid-filled cyst that expands the bone, makes the bone thinner, um, and so then the walls essentially become as thin as an eggshell. Six years ago, doctors used a more invasive surgery on Brooklyn, making a large incision, scraping the cyst wall, and then grafting it with bone. The cyst came back. Then Brooklyn became the first person to undergo a new minimally invasive technique developed at Lurie Children's Hospital. Through two small pokes, we get a, two needles into the cyst and we inject a medicine to destroy the cyst. Doctors inject the cyst with doxycycline to destroy it and then inject a bone graft to strengthen the bone. Essentially the bone is now looks normal, which previously looked like that. This was from my first surgery, and then there's two little dots right there from my second. Brooklyn hasn't had any breaks in the last four years. I have started playing volleyball, I, fin I played softball, dance, basketball. Sports she never thought she'd be able to enjoy again. The cysts are more common in boys than girls. They're usually not painful and many go undetected. The cyst will usually stop growing when a child is full grown and most will fill in and disappear. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Connie Fellman, Local 3 News. And